Hello everybody and welcome to Access Fanboy. My name is Will and today's video is going to be a, a kind of a review of Tree Frog Grading, a UK based Pokemon TCG grading company. Now I've had my cards back since 10 o'clock this morning and it's been extremely difficult not to have a sneak peek at these. Uh, the box is open, I did ask my missus to put them in a certain order. Um, but it's been extremely difficult not to have a peek. Uh, I want to get my natural reaction for the video. Um, tree frog grading, what can I say about them so far? Um, oh, there we go, as if by magic. That's the company. They have the lovely green frog on the label. In fact, they've got three different colors. So you have an alpha 10, which is a pink frog. And that's for anything that is 9.5 and upward. Well, not sorry. That's for anything that's tens across the board. So centering corners, edges and surfaces. Tens across the board will get you a pink frog. Anything 9.5 to 10, so if you've got any, um, you might have 10 in three sections, but 9.5 in one, that will get you a Bravo 10, which is a blue frog. And then anything 9.5 and below, this is well remembered from the website, by the way, anything 9.5 and below gets you a green frog. Uh, tree frog grading, I think they're ex-military, so you know how... Uh, I know it's a pedantic then. You know how picky they are uh, being ex-military. So, yeah, I decided to give these guys a try because I watched uh, Pokey Chloe. She sent some off to be graded and she was very pleased with her cards that came back. I think she's selling some of her cards on her website. Not that I'm plugging her. And it's basically as well... Um, I've paid for this. This is not a sponsored deal at all. This is just me as an average Joe getting his cards graded. And this is my personal view. Now, I've had cards graded by uh, Get Graded, uh, CGC, um, who's the other one? Obviously, PSA. Um, I've had another one as well. What are they called? Pokey Grade. Pokey Grade. So far... Service-wise, this has been the quickest turnaround and I didn't pay for Express at all. Obviously, with it being a new company, it probably will, will they're not going to be as busy as other companies. But the service that I've had so far uh, has been fantastic. I got these back within three weeks. Um, the, it costs, uh, what was it, eleven ninety nine per card per grade. Or you can pay for an Express service that you get back within seven days. I think that's 30 Seven quid, 38 quid. I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, it's something along that lines. I will put a link in the description anyway, but onto the cards. Now, it is very well packed. Oh, they even returned all of my uh, top loaders and sleeves. Even the penny sleeves have returned them as well. Uh, the box was very well packed um, and it comes in this foamy stuff as well. Now, I did ask her to put them in a certain order and... Can I look through the back though? I don't know if you can see there. That's the rear of the card. So I'm going to try and keep them face down so I don't see them because I do want it to be a surprise. Okay, okay. So I sent four cards off for grading. I sent from Eevee. It was the Evolutions box. I got a Sylveon. Straight out of the packet, straight into a top loader and straight off to these guys. So I'm kind of hoping for a 10 on that one. Um, hopefully an alpha 10 with it being packed fresh. I can't remember what the centering was like though. So we've got, yes, a Sylveon from Evolutions. We have a Pichu from a, a Japanese movie promo from 2006, I think it was. Then we've got a Gyarados from... Oh, I can't remember what set it was from, but it's one of my favourite cards I own. And then I sent off a Charizard from Champion's Path, the Rainbow Rare. I'm hoping for a 10 on that one as well. The other two, Pichu, I would probably say 7 or 8 on those. And the Gyarados, I would say possibly a 7 or 8 on that one. I would hope for an 8. Um, there was a bit of edge damage, I think on the bottom of it but anyway on with the show so this first one if she's put them in the correct order for me should be the sylveon i believe so let's just have a look at the back i don't know whether you can see that so you've got the hollow there 
you've got now they just started doing this uh, an inventory qr code so you can scan that basically and see how many they have have graded of that type and how many of saying eights and how many are nines that kind of thing um it's a very nice little holographic sticker i don't know if you can see that on camera there see yeah there we go so i was hoping for a, a 10 or i was hoping for an alpha 10 on this um the back looks good maybe the centering's a bit off actually now i'm looking on it on camera double guessing myself now let's just flip it around rip that plaster off and we got a 10 but we got a bravo 10 so there we go on the label so we got a blue bravo 10 and this is the new label by the way they introduced new labels when after i submitted and i asked if i could have it with that and they said yep not a problem and did that for me now i think you can agree PSA, obviously they lead the way because they've been around since day dot, but they need to up their game with their labels. Now, I know it's not about the label, but look at the label. Look at the hollow green frog, frog shining away there. Anyway, we've got uh, Sylveon VMAX and 041 of 069. Oh, that's the card number, you idiot. <laughs> Anyway, um, so we've got centering 9.5, corners 10, edges 10, surface 9.5. So that gets me a Bravo 10. I'm quite happy with that. It's a lovely card. Um, now, I'm going to keep these. I'm not going to sell these because these are my first submissions. Can you see my little Mars shadow in the background? My little mascot Mars shadow. It's not my favourite, Gengar is, but I just like that little figure. I think it's pretty cool. So moving on to... Um, the Pichu, I think it was, and there we go. There's the back again, and we'll flip it. I think I would hope for a seven or an eight on this, and I got an eight. I was right. Well, hey, um, so there we go. There's the card, lovely and shiny. Should we get some more light on this situation? Is that better? Is that better? There we go. Lovely light. So we got a 10 on the centering, 9.5 on the corners, 8 on the edges, 8 on the surface. It's a pretty old card, so yeah, probably agree with that. But the um, the actual cases themselves, pretty much, I think they're exactly the same as PSA, but they feel fantastic, they feel great. Uh, what else can I say about the service? Because I mean, the website, when you're submitting cards, extremely easy. Put the number of cards in, do a brief description of your cards, uh, send it off, and away you go. Um, like I say, these came back within three weeks. And this is the Gyarados. This is one of my favourite ever cards. I'm hoping for an 8 on this, but I, I, it's probably going to come back as a 7. And I got an 8. There we go. But can you see why it's my favourite card? Look at that on that hollow. I love it. I absolutely love it. But what I, did I get on the centering was a 10. I knew that was a 10. Uh, edges is a 7 because I don't know whether you can see on camera there's in this bottom bit here. You can't see it because the case covers it up. So that's pretty cool. Um, but down here there is a little, little, not like a little indentation, which really niggled the hell out of me. So uh, surface is a 9. Again, considering it's an old card, 2006. Look at the shine on that Gyarados. That is stunning. And corners seven. Corners seven? I don't think the corners are that bad. Oh, yeah, maybe up there. Yeah, centering's off. Uh, centering is not off, sorry. <laughs> um, and then we've got the big, big kahuna. The Pokemon with the dad bod. I'm hoping for an Alpha 10 on this, people. I'm not going to be disappointed with a normal 10, but I was hoping for an Alpha 10. And that looks slightly pink. Is that does it? Act, is that pink on all of them? Yeah, it's pink on all of them. God damn it, Will. Okay. Wish me luck, people. Oh, it's a Bravo 10. I should say, oh, it's still a 10. Look at the shine on the dad bod. Look at him go. So what did I get? In the scores, what's on the scores? 9.5 on the site centering. 9.5? 9 
9.5 on the centering on that. Ah, well, you don't do it for a living, Will. Shut up. Corners 10, edges 10, surface 9. Surface 9? Oof. You must be able to see something I can't because I think the surface on that is absolutely spotless. But then again, I suppose that shows just how strict they are at handing out their Alpha 10s, um, which is only a good thing. I sometimes have seen cards from PSA that say they're a 10, and I've looked at the card on the inside and thought that's nowhere near a 10. So strict, yeah, Mr. Tree Frog, I think you're strict as hell, <laughs> especially when it comes to my bloody Charizard VMAX. Um, but that's a good thing. You don't want them to be handing out Alpha 10s willy-nilly and then the market's flooded with Alpha 10s. It's a Bravo 10. I'm happy with that. It's still a good £500 card. Um, I just hope, I hope, obviously the market is being flooded with grading companies now. This is one of the better ones. I will do another video because I do have, obviously, the ones that I've mentioned, PSA, CC, CGC, uh, Polky grade and get graded. I have those cards as well. And just from this, what are we on? Eleven minutes now. Just on this eleven minute video. I mean, I have one of the. I had one of these second hand, which was a, an eight, and I sold it on. Um, but even that with the old uh, label. Now I know it's not about the label; it's about the card inside. But look at the label on these. It's it's fantastic. It looks special. PSA. You need to up your game. You need to. Up your, your turnaround and stop charging people the earth. 12 quid to get your card graded in the UK. Now, I think they may have gone international. So if you are watching this abroad, just check the website. Link will be downstairs. Downstairs. Link will be down in the uh, description. Service-wise, 10 out of 10. Grading-wise... 10 out of 10, although I'm not happy. Uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I think it's a fantastic company and I will I will definitely be sending more of my cards off to be graded by these people. Um, I, I need to stress, this is not a sponsored video. I am not being paid to do this. I paid for all these. They've not given me any kind of sponsorship whatsoever. This is just my personal view. Once again, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you all again soon. Tree frog raiding. Top people. Cheers.